Today we are continuing the GTA 6 trailer potentially coming out soon saga. Rockstar are doing some very, very weird and interesting stuff on their social media that has a lot of us wondering if it's for a reason. And that reason being the GTA 6 trailer is coming sooner rather than later. Now, one of the big reasons why we are expecting something to happen relatively soon within the next week or so for the last three years, you can see these were the different news wires back in 2020. There was a community updates uh, January 28th. Uh, then there was another community update in 2021 around February 5th. And then last year we had the community update on February 4th. And that's actually where they sort of gave us the official confirmation that the next GTA game is being worked on. This is why everyone is expecting something within the next couple of weeks. But that's not all. Apparently Rockstar opened up an account on one of the biggest Chinese uh, social media websites. Uh, Billy Billy, which is I, from what I've read, China's version of YouTube. Rockstar, for some reason, today opened up an account. And as uh, this person says, this may have something to do with an announcement. They have no reason to do this aimlessly. That is for sure true. Now, if you go to their Billy Billy account, they only have one video actually on here and it is only the arena war trailer now i'll explain here in a second why this is probably the case but many people were wondering if this was like some sort of troll it doesn't appear to be because the official take two billy billy account does also follow them so the account was made today and the official take two account is following them surely this isn't some troll that hacked everything. This is an official account. Now, as to why this official account only has the Arena War trailer, it's pretty well explained in this post. So in the Chinese market, it, you need to be careful with what you show in trailers. And this goes for games. This goes for movies. I think a lot of stuff. Things such as blood, drugs, uh, and organized crime is just fully banned. And down here at the bottom, the reason why they post the Arena War alone might be because that trailer is like the only DLC trailer that doesn't contain any of that stuff. I mean, the Arena Wars is a pretty tame DLC when you take a look at it compared to everything else. Now, from what I Googled, apparently GTA 5 is like fully banned in China. So I'm not really sure why they're still uploading a GTA Online trailer. Maybe they say GTA Online is a bit different than GTA 5. But yeah, GTA 5, because it does have blood, drugs, criminals and all that, it's fully banned in China. Now, the middle part of this is what's a little bit interesting. Why potentially this is happening. They might just be reserving the name. That's definitely a possibility. But more than likely, they are trying to get into the Chinese market by uploading trailers that don't include the, the, the sort of bad stuff, the blood, the drugs, the criminals, the violence. That's probably what's happening here. The Chinese market is pretty big. There's been a lot of movies and other uh, media that try to break into it because there is a lot of money to be made there. And it looks like Rockstar might be trying to do the same. This also ties in with their celebration of the Chinese New Year this year for the first time ever. That's why we had all the, the rabbit stuff, the Lunar New Year stuff in GTA Online. Probably because of money, they're, they're trying to get into the Chinese market. Now, my question is just why even attempt this? How do you make a GTA game without blood, without violence, without criminals? H how do you do that? Is that even GTA at that point? No, I will just say that it's anyone thinking this might just completely ruin GTA 6 and that it won't be the, the normal GTA that we've played. I don't think they're going to go that route. More than likely, if anything, they'll have like a separate version of it for China. They're not going to fully censor the game for everywhere. That just wouldn't make sense. They, they would get so much hate for that. So that's more than likely not going to happen. But I do think because of this, because they are trying to get into the Chinese uh, market here, they're going to attempt to try and release GTA 6 in China, and they're going to try to not get it banned like GTA 5. And that'll be interesting to see how they do that. Because again, I don't know how you make a GTA game without the aspects we mentioned. Now, the other part to this is why now? Tying it back into the first stuff we mentioned, how there's the community update coming up. There's also the take two earnings call coming up in a week. There's a lot of big coincidences. Now it's not necessarily saying that there's gonna be a trailer coming out, 
But if Rockstar truly wanted to reach a worldwide audience for the GTA 6 trailer, this is definitely the way. And that is why I think this is another hint that means there's going to be something coming relatively soon. The final thing I'll mention, uh, just quickly, this was a another article. As gamers wait for Grand Theft Auto 6, Take 2 likely has a major announcement right around the corner. An analyst said this was uploaded today. This was on one of the biggest stock market uh, websites. So I don't know if they know this analyst potentially knows something that we don't. But another person saying there's something major coming around the corner. So you have the community update. You have the Take 2 earnings call. You have this analyst saying there's something big coming around the corner. You have Rockstar trying to promote GTA Online on the Chi the biggest Chinese social media site. A lot of stuff is happening, and it's only a matter of time it feels that something big comes out. As always, I'll keep you guys up to date on everything that's happening in the GTA 6 world, because there's a lot of stuff. So hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. Thank you all for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one.